Well, what I think is very important um, in terms of how to best help children who are dyslexic or who show signs of dyslexia is really to try to um, intervene yeah. early. Um, and for families, um, the question is what, what would early be? Um, so let's start in the preschool um, phase. As we know that um, in preschool children it's their um, speaking and listening skills which are the foundation for learning to read and for the development of phoneme awareness, the ability to reflect on the sound structure of words. And that ability is very critical um, for learning to read in a, in a system like English, which is essentially an alphabetic system where the letters and the sounds uh, correspond and the child has to learn how that coding system works. So in the preschool ch uh, period, if children have got any um, oral language difficulties, then it's really important that parents uh, seek help for them. And this would usually be from a speech and language therapist. Um, if the problem is one of speech or speech production, it's really very important that they get some face-to-face uh, -face therapy. But if the problem is more with language or comprehension, then um, they should seek advice as to how best to enable their child to um, increase their vocabulary and to um, increase the range of sentences that they can use in spoken language. I think it's also wise, if possible, to um, help children to uh, learn the sounds of the letters of the alphabet as soon as possible. But obviously you don't want to go completely overboard uh, but choosing maybe one or two letters at a time. To, to teach them letter sounds and, and to show them words that contain the letter sound, be it at the beginning or the end, so that they get tuned into the notion that um, print or written language is related to sounds. And any teaching of letters that you can do before the child goes to school makes the task of learning to read when they get to school the, the easier. So these children, children with dyslexia, are likely to take longer than average to learn letter sounds. So if you can get in early, just teach one letter sound a week, say, or maybe two contrasting sounds, it, it gives them a kind of um, bootstrap. It, it, it puts them in a better position for learning when they get to school. I guess once the child's in school, you should have, um, a parent should have a pretty good idea of how their reading's developing. Um, by um, seeing how they're doing relative to their peers and also with the uh, uh, highly systematic phonic uh, instruction which is now going on in schools, a teacher should be able to tell a parent if the child is having difficulty in learning about phonics and if they're going through the phonic phases slower than um, would be um, ideal. And if that is the case, then um, the school should really be developing an action plan for helping children um, to develop the phoneme awareness and the letter sound skills that they're not picking up from the general mainstream um, classroom. And that might be in a small group initially, um, and there are quite a few catch-up programs that are effective um, in enabling children who are slowly developing phonics to go a bit more quickly. Um, again, if after such a catch-up program the child is still lagging behind, then the parent should be thinking about asking for some more individualised help. But of course, through all this, um, as a parent, you want to um, remain someone who um, that your child can go home to and who you can support emotionally and who you can ensure that you're building up also their strengths and, and praising them for their abilities. And so I, I'm very much against parents taking on the role of being teachers at home. They do need to support literacy development, but I think ideally under the direction of, of a teacher who might be asking them to do a little bit of reinforcement work or a little bit of sound play, but not absolutely um, you know, doing all the remedial um, work themselves. I think throughout the primary school years it, it remains important for um, parents to um, read with their children, um, read to their children and to discuss stories with their children um, because many children with dyslexia really have very good language and have very good imagination and they need the um, information that is in stories to fuel um, their creativity and, 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 their, um, and their language skills and um, 
it's very important to keep the reading situation, I think, quite a special one. Um, don't mix up reading for pleasure with reading for instruction. Um, make sure you're um, reading a variety of um, stories so that children with dyslexia in particular learn a lot about story structure, they learn a lot about vocabulary and in turn then those abilities can help support what might be for them a slow development of decoding and, and, and um, more basic reading skills.